try to breathe in a way that's refreshing. Otherwise, it's going to be hard to stay here. The mind's going to go start looking for other things, pleasure someplace else, because that's its nature. It always likes pleasure. And John Fuang gave the example. He said, if you want to catch eels, you have to give the eels something they like. And he said, you take a dead dog and you put it in a jar, one of those big clay jars, and you bear it in the mud, and the eels will go into the jar, and then you've got them. It's not a very pretty image. But it does give you an idea of what's involved in getting the mind to settle down. You have to find something you like, otherwise it's not going to stay here. And the breath is good, because you can change it so it becomes something you like. If just the breath is not enough, you can add counting to it, count up to ten, then up to nine, then up to eight, seven, six. And hopefully by the time you get to just one, the mind will be ready to let go of the numbers. Or you can use a meditation word, bhutto. But the important principle is that you stay here in the body, in the present moment, with a sense of well-being and a sense of interest. Because it's not just the pleasure of a sensation that the mind likes, it also likes the pleasure of an activity. And when you can play with the breath, that gives the mind something to do. You can start exploring the breath energy in the body and see what kind of impact it has on the health of the body. Anyone who tends to have a persistent disease of one kind or another can use this as a motivation for looking into the breath energy to see how it can strengthen the body, get you past that disease, or at least give you a handle on the disease, so you're not weakened by it all the time. So give the mind something that it enjoys experiencing and enjoys doing, and you'll be willing to stay. The breath has lots of potentials in these directions, so explore them, and you'll find that it gets easier and easier to stay here in the present moment and feel at home in the present moment. And then this becomes your base of operations as you go through the day. It's not just one more thing you have to add to your list of tasks. It becomes a place where you stand as you do your other tasks. You're here in the breath as you do these other things. And so instead of adding one more task to the list, it gives you a foundation, it gives you a basis from which the other tasks become a lot easier.